Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, and March 3rd, so um, a few economic news today. Uh, some of the big ones will be tomorrow. Tomorrow will be something that can create the market moving back and forth uh, tomorrow, so definitely want to be prepared because we got the job numbers coming out for tomorrow. But today, economic news brings us the jobless claims, which was, came in pretty good at 368. So it's come down a little bit more. Uh, productivity is uh, remain basically the same as it was last. Uh, so they're expecting a good on this is I believe probably a final revision for Q4 at 2.6. So that's not bad. And I some manufacturing or uh, services. This is on the servicing side. Uh, you know, just a hair above uh, what they expected. So ran right within the range. Uh, as a result, the stock market's up. They're feeling a little optimistic with regards to the jobless claims and the productivity. And then also there's some talk about they be having some peace talks going on being brokered by uh, Hugo Chavez of Venezuela. So uh, we'll see how that turns out. Um, you know, of course, we all, I think, would agree that we'd like to see some peace in the Middle East. And hopefully our friends over there will uh, enjoy some peace over there for a change. Uh, also, uh, technicals, ECB. The European uh, Bank, Central Bank, is hinting that there might be a possible rate hike in April. Uh, they're getting some better than expected reports of late, too. And uh, retail forecasts uh, came in a little bit better than expected. So all this is uh, helping out the stock market. And then I also uh, touch on yesterday, the Fed Facebook came in later in the day, so we didn't really touch on that. But it was kind of painting some rosy pictures out there. So when it came out at 2 o'clock East Coast time or 11 o'clock, you know, my time, uh, Pacific Coast time, the uh, basic came out that, you know, there's some areas that are kind of dragging a little bit, but for the most part, most areas are showing some signs of improvement. You know, we're still kind of, uh, an analogy I heard earlier t this morning was, you know, kind of like baby steps a little bit. We're, you know, we're still on training wheels. So, uh, you know, a father of my, a friend of mine uh, used uh, the analogy of, uh, you know, trying to, that the child needed still use training wheels uh, so it wouldn't fall. So that's kind of like where our economy is right now. So anyways, let's take a look here at the bond market. We did have a drop down here. So we got opening gap here. And so we're down to right now about 101.38. So we'll tr I do think we'll close this. I don't think the news that came in was strong enough to keep this down. So I do think we'll close this gap here. Uh, we could see some more sideways movements along here. Uh, you know, could go back down and up, back up. Uh, as we've seen, the t we're kind of moving further from the 10-day moving average, so we do usually have a tendency to kind of whips out right back to it. But again, I do think we'll have a close in the gap here, either today or tomorrow, uh, for the, in this regards here. So, as a result, you know, right now mortgage rates are uh, wor have worsened since yesterday, and we did have a worsening yesterday too as the stock market kind of gained some steam uh, from the Fed base. Fed Facebook uh, announcement as well. So, all right, folks. If uh, yeah, I'll keep you up to date if anything major changes. But otherwise, yeah, the rates have kind of worsened a little bit today, and tomorrow I'll be prepared for some a little bit more major uh, news regards to the job numbers and stuff. Uh, more volatile volatility in the market. Have a great day.